Hey, it's John McBride, ArmUS, bringing you another ArmUS Tech Connect video, giving you a kind of insight on what's going on with the industry as well as some of the things that we kind of find and work on and, and show you. But today I wanted to discuss how to bind two Sendence S radios to a V2 210. So that's what we're talking about today. This is a new thing that's just come out, uh, being this capability. Still waiting for, uh, some of you are still waiting for the, se the second sentence S radios, but we happen to have two ships here that we can actually show you how to do this. Some of the things I've found that really work easy, and then some of the tricks I had to do to make this kind of uh, work as options of where we're at right now. Uh, small bug fixes, if you will. So first of all, we wanna make sure that with the sentence S that uh, it is updated to the four 0.450. So by doing this, we're opening the pilot app. Pilot app will go ahead and populate the needed update for the sentence radio itself. You also want to make sure that you're on 1.3 version of the pilot app. Once we open this, this is the master radio on our left. And then we're going to go ahead and, and set this up as the slave radio on our right. So master on the left, slave on the right. Once we're connected here, we're, we're going to look at this screen real quick and we can see all of these things populated as far as being the master radio. The ship is not turned on yet because we're going to go to this radio, also on .450 update. Everything's all updated here. We're going to click on the manual flight, close this screen out, hit the three buttons on the top left, and it has the same things because by default, if we click on the radio RC here, it is currently by default a master radio, but we need to set this to slave. So we wanna change that over to the slave radio. And if it says you wanna do this function, yes I do. Once it does that and, and says it's, it's successfully changed it to remote, we can see back on the back end that this has kinda of changed the way that this uh, uh, UI looks now. But it's, it's asking me to do a relink well, basically, I'm doing a relink to the actual radio or to the ship. I'm not doing a relink in the old styles of, re of linking the radios together. We're actually linking it to the bird. So we need to turn the bird on. We'll go ahead and do this and populate, make sure that this all gets set up and these two are communicating with each other. So I'm going to come back out of this to pilot app and make sure everything populates correctly here since this is already set up as far as a system. Once it sees the V2, Z30, I also have an XT2 on the front, so it populates all that correctly. It can see everything. I'm gonna go ahead and hit manual flight. Make sure the cameras populate correctly. So Z, I mean, sorry, XT2 up here on the main screen, Z30, so I, I have the option to switch back and forth between those two. And now, because we're gonna come back to this radio and do a relink, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And by doing so, this radio is waiting for me to push the button on the back of the, of the uh, ship. So I'm going to go ahead and push that button. And it has confirmed showing a linking complete right here. Linking complete. So now it's populated with an XT2 Z30. I'm going to go ahead and enter into Pilot App. Close that window real quick. And we can see the, the two are identical as far as displaying the video uh, feed coming from the, the ship. The thing is, is that most of the time when we're, when we're doing the setup for the sticks, right now by default I have up and down working on the slave remote, but I don't have left and right here. I have left and right on this stick and it gets a little, a little confusing when you're moving it around. So I have to go into, basically I have to go into Go4 to do this. This is something that I have to, I, just a little trick I found out, that instead of giving you the ability to change the stick mode here, we have to go out of this, close that, and go into Go4. Go4 will populate like normal. It'll look, the screen will look a little fun, funny, but we need to make sure that the function of assigning the stick appropriately is correct. So we don't want to activate anything. It's asking me for that, but I'm going to cancel that. I'll close out the main screen here. Three buttons on the top right. We're going to click on, sorry, the radio. Click on the radio and then go to this stick mode right here. On the stick mode, I have it assigned already to 
a right and left stick, but if we reset that and change it, it'll give us a couple of beeps, but now I can use these sliders to assign where I want the, the stick inputs to go. So we just have yaw left and yaw right. We can see that up here. We're gonna put that on the right stick. So if it's up here, we wanna grab that and slide it to this right stick, the right stick, and then the up and down or forward and back also to the right stick. So now it should look something like this. Once we have that, we can exit out. We can close, go four, and then go back to pilot. As soon as everything populates correctly here, and it sees the X-T2 and Z-30, we can see it sees that. Now I can click on the app, open up manual flight, close this screen here. And now I should have the functions now up and down and left and right on one stick. Now there's a number of other things that you can do to uh, change settings with the gimbal on the, on the slave remote. We can uh, assign different buttons to do a couple of things and I'll mess around with this as well. Additionally, uh, one of my sales guys, Jace, uh, who is actually recording the video right now, had maybe suggested doing a test to see how far we can get the slave remote from the ship. So now we can maybe possibly do uh, a little bit further video transmission of controlling the camera in a command center and controlling the bird, um, actually uh, the line of sight to the bird. So this is possible. And the other ones, it might not be possible. This is a test we'll do, but it might not, it couldn't, it couldn't be possible because you were connected remotes wise and not to the ship. We'll verify this and double check a few things, but just wanted to show you how to get this uh, initial setup done, as well as making sure that if you have any questions or anything like that, that we're uh, able to help you out.